Hey guys, MD Prepper here. Doing an initial review vid of a new blade I just picked up. Got myself another Condor line blade here. Love the Condor line for their price and durability. This is the Condor Bush Knife. I don't know if I'd necessarily call this a knife, but hey, that's what they call it. Their product, they call it whatever the heck they want. Looks to be an interesting little bushcraft woods tool here for a very reasonable price. You can look around and find these for 60, 70, 80 bucks out there. That's way overpriced. Look around a little bit, you can find them for under 40. I think I paid 37, 38 dollars for this. Looks real nice. Have not used it yet. Just got it in today. But looks like it's got a lot of potential. Let me go through the stats on this real quick. It's 420 high carbon stainless steel, which it actually says here on the blade. Don't know if you can see that there, but just below the Condor emblem, you can see that. This is the first of the Condor line, I think, that I've had that actually has the steel stamped onto it, so you know what it is. Polypropylene grips, which are just about indestructible, used a lot on your cold steel line and all that. Now, unlike the Condor Rodan, which has polypropylene grips, this one is not a rounded grip, which I actually like better. This one's a little more flat, if you see that there. So that's not going to roll around on your hand, in your hand as much, which I think is a great asset. I like that a lot better than your rounded style handles overall. And the patterning on this is definitely a lot grippier than the standard Rodan or everything else, which could be a little slippery if wet. This has sort of a wood grain on it, which I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see in the picture of the camera. There we go. That's fairly decent. Same on the other side. Of course, has a brass lined lanyard hole on this end which is also nice does not appear to be full tang necessarily but it's darn close using my magnet my super strong magnet it came to about here or so before the magnet gave up and didn't feel anything else so probably close to three quarters tang but anyway should be durable enough only thing that really concerns me about this up front is the thinness back here. I don't know if that's just as thin throughout, but obviously if it was absolutely full width, it's going to be too wide to hold on to. Now you got your notching here. I'm not entirely sure what that's for overall, but seems to be that this is for gripping up on this. If I need to do some finer work, I could do so with this blade edge right here. If I need to for chopping vegetables or something, just woodworking finer tasks. don't know why I would need this back one here necessarily, but maybe if I've got big hands, something like that's going to fit. If you flip it around, you've also got this cut out up here, and that would be okay if you need to use something in here for quicker work, for chopping off and clearing off brush, something like that, real quick and easy. Obviously, got the eye of the condor here, which makes this thing look like just an absolute kick-ass, badass blade. For defensive purposes, pulling this thing out is going to get pretty much anybody to run away. I don't want to go against this thing. Sure, a machete's probably going to do better, but man, this thing looks badass. So, came quite sharp, uh, sharper than my Rodans, etc. Have not chopped with this yet, have not done anything with it yet, but for my new homestead, I think this could be a great option overall. It was interesting, it was unique, so I decided to pick it up. Now, if you've seen my previous videos, you're obviously going to see that this is very similar, sort of, to the Marbles Fireman's Axe tool, which I've got right here. Not exactly the same, but same sort of general blade design. I may do a comparison vid between these two at some point, but uh, one thing that this blade probably cannot do is baton. There's not going to be a good spot that's not got a blade on it to baton on overall. Again, not sharp enough at the top, so you can't really necessarily use it for uh, a shovel style option, but you could pry with this quite easily. Very sturdy overall, feels great. Good fit and finish overall. Like I said, you know, slashing, chopping type options here, and just a basic straight blade on this end. So lots of options for this thing. Again, like the rest of the Condor line, comes with an excellent leather sheath right here. Single snap on this, which I honestly expected something kind of funky and odd, but the single snap is actually quite nice. It's easy to get out and get into use. If you look at some of your otter shaped blades, like your Kukri's and all that, they tend to have two snaps and that's just not quite as easy to pull out in a hurry. It's a little stiff here so far, but it'll, 
as you can see, stiff. With the blade in there, not quite so bad. It'll loosen up after I use it a bit. Again, excellent quality leather sheath, just like the rest of the Condor line, especially for the price point. Got the Condor emblem on it. This sheet's not quite as perfect as some of the other ones. If you can see that, maybe. You see some markings up here. This appears to be paint. It does not appear to be scrapes on the leather. If you can see it up close, it's run up against something. Now, got the little dangler style sheath here on the back side, which when I tried it out when I first got it in this evening, I found it to be quite nice. This rides quite high for the blade itself. Uh, the way this whole contraption works, putting this on your belt is going to keep this thing very, very high on your waist to grab and easily pull out in a hurry. So I kind of like that, actually. I was worried about the sheath and just the odd shape of this thing, but this on my left hip rides quite high, like a high ride holster almost, except you got a big blade here on the back side. But taking it out and deploying this thing is going to be fairly easy overall, I think, compared to other odd shaped blades that I've seen. So just want to do this little initial review with initial impressions and all. Seems nice. I think I'm going to like this a lot. I'm going to try and use this this weekend whenever I get the chance out in the woods just play around with, see how I like it. So I think this is another win from the uh, Condor line. Again, under 40 bucks. Probably not my first blade I would ever choose, but hey, anything is good if you need it. And again, this thing will probably be a niche market style blade, but I like it. Anyway, guys, I will do other reviews once I've used this thing a little bit more. Just thought I'd give my thoughts. Any prepper, out.